Welcome, welcome, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you for um, hearing us this morning. Um, I recently had the opportunity to be at College of the Redwoods for uh, opening of their uh, multicultural center on a day-long diversity symposium. I wish you had all been there to hear the heartbreaking stories of CR students who were desperately trying to hold it together, living in tents, living in their cars, trying to stay clean while they got a college education to move their lives forward. It was incredibly touching, and they wanted a place to wash their clothes where they wouldn't have to leave campus too far, or maybe someplace where they could heat the food that came from the college pantry. What you, I, I'm frankly stunned that it's taken this long to get a shelter crisis, but I, I, I wanna reframe it slightly for you. These, what if somebody said, okay, until we can do better, here's a campground in walking distance of CR. Kids, you can put up tents here and somebody who cares about you might pay for porta potties and you can go shower in the gym. The kind of creative solutions that this community can do will be allowed under a shelter crisis. A shelter crisis simply says, we can set some zoning things aside to open the door to creativity. All of you who might hear from your constituents, get government off the back. Let private solutions rise up. Let a zillion flowers bloom. A shelter crisis will do that. A shelter crisis is less government so that this really serious problem can be addressed in more creative ways. It doesn't have to commit you to much more than that. And I would really just encourage you, there are people ready to not put this all on the back of government. There's people ready to bring their hearts and their hands and their pocketbooks to help this. They just need you to make sure they're not gonna get run off the land when they try something creative. And I am imploring you, please don't make, you see how full this room is. You, you don't realize how widespread the demand is getting for this. I implore you not to make the mistakes you've made in the past of saying, oh, nobody really cares about this, and then suddenly, wham, there's a petition and you've got something on the ballot. So don't wait for that. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. And welcome.